As part of our series of wiring within Conduit, I said we'd take a closer look at the consumer unit and its parts and how to build it up. Because often at college, you don't get it already assembled. This garage board came to me already built up. So let's look at the first thing, this being effectively the means of isolation for the consumer unit. And we're probably used to seeing a linked main switch or sometimes called a double pole switch in order to isolate the board. And this works as that purpose, but it also is an RCD. So this is an RCCB, rigid current circuit breaker and it's rated at 30 milliamps so it will offer additional protection for the two circuits that you can wire from it and it's also an AC type and we know how we're trying to move away from AC now to the A type RCD as a minimum and the switching value or the value rating of the actual device is 63 amps so we often talk about don't we a hundred amp main switch well this switch here mechanism is up to 63 amps Rate of 30 milliamps for the RCD protection for earth leakage and is an AC type. Then we can choose whichever breakers we want to accompany it. And the ones that came with this were B16 and a B6, and they were already populated within the board, but we're gonna fit those into position. So we've got our DIN rail at the back here, of which we're gonna clip these breakers onto. And if we look here, by pulling this tab down to take them off, which you don't need to do when you put it on, it will clip, this section here will clip onto the DIN rail for both the breakers. So we're gonna hook those on. We're gonna start off by hooking on the 16 amp one. General practice is the largest one nearest the main switch. That may change over time, the thinking behind that, but we're gonna put the 16 amp one first and we're gonna hook it on the back. So it goes on the back of the DIN rail first. So we're gonna hook this section on first, back of the DIN rail on, and then we're just gonna clip it down by pressing that into position. So we've hooked it in. If we wanted to get it back out, it's a simple process of levering against here and you feel that's clicked into position and then we can just take it back off. So we can see that clips down onto our DIN rail on the back. So we're in at the top first, clip down, and then we just press our button down and we've locked our 16 amp type B circuit breaker into position. Exactly the same process now for the B6. It's obviously locked back, so we've pulled it back. I'm going to clip it onto the DIN rail and then just lock it into position. So those are now connected. This is the this is the one everyone misses off at college, especially when you're learning early on, is obviously this is called a bus bar, bus bar, B-U-S bar, bus bar. And it's got the plastic coating on to stop you from touching the live parts. And that needs to be present. Often in colleges that goes missing and people still fit them. Well, you shouldn't be because you've got all that copper exposed, which will be connected to the line conductor. So make sure that's in position. You notice on this stole, one is slightly larger than the other two. This is the one that goes into the RCCB. So we've got to open up that screw. So if we open up the cage clamp, which is under here, in order that we can fit it. So we've opened that one up. If I just pop a breaker back out again, so you can have a look at these, you can see also you should open out the bottom of those uh, cage clamps as well for the same connection. See, that's opening up. So it's important they're open. I'm gonna put that one back in. I'll open up the six amp one as well. Once they're opened, they will be able to take the bus bar. So our bus bar goes into position. I need to fit it in and go all the way into position and hold it. And now I should feel it come up and connect to those. So we're gonna connect that one. I'm not gonna do it super tight. I'm just gonna tighten the screw down, but not tight. So that's firm, but not tight. And we're making sure that, that cage clamp closes up. So it closes up onto the bus bar. We don't wanna miss the bus bar in any way. And it's a case of sometimes having to bend down and have a really good look just to check that you haven't missed those connections on the base of there. So these connections under here have caught that bus bar. So that's in position now. And you notice we've only got the bus bar across this connection here, which is where the line comes in at the top of the RCCB. So the line connection will come in there. So in other words, the tail will come in from the mains end or our supply cable comes in. So our line connection comes in, passes through our RCCB and will liven up the bottom here when it's energized. So when we're in that position there on, it will bring the line connection through and liven up this bus bar here. What does happen at colleges is people tend to put it across these two and then the first one. If you were to do that, obviously you'd have the neutral line and this connection here all connected together. You'd have a dead short. So make sure it's only in the connected in the line section here. 
you can see the neutral would come into here. The neutral comes through the RCCB, through to here. It comes around here and then is connected into my neutral bar at the top. So it's important that this bus bar here is connected across the line and then the bottom of the two breakers where also it connects to the line section. So when these are on, the electrical energy comes passes through the um, circuit breakers and out the outgoing circuits. So that's what we've got there. So that's the bus bar fitted, but it's not tight yet. None of these are tightened. We must confirm all the terminations are at the required torque setting. So bring back in my bar and I've now got to bring it back up. So here we go, that should be 2.4 and the blank window there is 2.5. Bring back in my mechanism, make sure I'm locked off and then we're gonna do these ones, which we know were loose. So push nice and firmly, click. It's tightening up, one click. It's tightening up, one click. And last one, one click, there we go.